Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in 3ds Max modeling for beginners. I am architect Sonorai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to continue with my compound objects. And in this today video tutorial, I am going to discuss about a scatter here. And in the last tutorial, I have discussed about MOF command and you can refer my last video tutorial if you want to know about MOF. So today I am going to discuss about a scatter command here. And for this, I am going to my perspective mode and I will press Alt W to make it large. And now we will draw some shape here. So I am going to my standard primitive. I am going to draw a plane here. And I am going to uh, make a length segment 20 and width segment 20. And I am in my edged faces here. So I am going to draw a plane here and you can change the color to any other color suppose I want to make it blue so this is our plane and now I am going to my modifier list and we will create a terrain using our noise modifier here and I will make a detail tutorial about this modifier so I am going to select this noise command and now uh, you will go to this strength here and it will change the value of x y z which is 0 0.0 0 0.0 and 0 0.0 so i'm going to change uh, x value here and you will see the changes in your plane and it, the x value is changing and likewise you can change the y value to any other value and you will see our shape is getting deformed and you can also similarly can change the value of z and you can see like a terrain here and now you can see view it this terrain so suppose uh, i am going to my uh, standard primitives and then i am going to select this ac extended and if you want to place trees around this terrain you can use the scattered so i am going to select this foliage and i will select this palm tree here i am going to place it here but it is very large scale so i will reduce the scale by using the scale command and I am making this small you can place any other object any other shapes but I am going to show you with the example of tree so I have selected this palm tree and now I will select this tree and I will go to my compound object and now I will select this scatter here and if you select a scatter you will see pick distribution object so this is our distribution object which is plane and this is our object so you need to pick distribution object and whether you want to make a reference copy or move or instance so i'm going to select instance and now scatter distribution object distribution you use distribution object and use transform only so i'm going to use uh, this one use distribution object and now i will select my plane here and i will select this pick distribution object and i will select plane and you can see uh, this are uh, tree is attached with this plane and this color is also merged with this uh, plane color so if you want to change this tree color here you can simply go to settings here and now i am going to display here and i am going to select this height distribution object color so i am going to select this and you can see this color is hide it from this plane color. Now if you want to uh, place more trees here you can simply go to source object parameters so duplicates so this is one so I am going to increase this number you can see there are two duplicates if you make three there are three four five six and so on you can spread to your uh, terrain like this and you can also change the scale if you want want to change the scale you can change the scale also and you can increase the number here like this and it will helpful in creating forest areas and now uh, if you want to uh, make it uh, realistic because this is perpendicular because this perpendicular is selected and this is perpendicular with this terrain so if you if you uncheck this it will look more uh, realistic and you can see this tree is evenly uh, spreaded over this so you can uh, distribute using area so suppose if i want to distribute using area i will select this and you can see it is using area and if you want to distribute even you will select even 
and if you want to skip anything you can select the number here and if you want to make a random you will select random and you can select along edges you can select all vertices and you can select all edge midpoint and it will select all edge midpoint all faces center all faces center and you can select volume also volume it will be placed so i'm going to select area and likewise you can use this command scatter in your project so this is the basic understanding of this scatter so this was the tutorial for today's session in the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in compound objects Bye.